What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to attempt a realistic cold and dark start in the F-18 aboard the supercarrier by using a knee pad checklist. We'll do a short introduction on the download and install of a knee pad if you're not familiar with it and proceed right into a cold and dark start followed by a taxi and launch. So without wasting time, because this is a meaty one, let's get into it. So we can find this checklist on the DCS website. I'll include a link in the description so it's easy to follow along. Download. Once it's done, we'll open. Copy. Save games. If you don't have a knee pad folder, go ahead and make one. And we'll paste it in there. We're cold and dark in an F-18 Hornet on the deck of a supercarrier. The first things we're going to want to look at is that our master switch is in the safe position, our ejection seat is in the safe position, our parking brake is on, and our wings are folded back. We go ahead and bring up our knee pad, cycle through a page, you can see we have our checklist, so we'll follow along and we'll start it up. Come down to our battery with a right click, turn it on, and we'll cycle through our A and B fire channel faults. Start with A, with a right click and hold, until the auto book queue is done. I like to cycle the battery off and on with the left and right click before doing channel D. The left click and hold. Glance over and make sure I have no APU faults. I'll start up the APU, wait for the green ready light. Once we get the green ready light, right click, crank over the right engine. When we see 18%, push the right throttle into idle. for it to light up. Should hear Betty soon in a deedle deedle, at which point we'll go ahead and we'll turn on the left and right DDI, as well as the HUD and the MPC. Left, right, HUD, MPCD, and we'll rotate the bleed air 360 degrees with four clicks of the right nose. I like to have my FCS on the left, soft these bits. And I also like to close the canopy, the left click and hold until it's fully closed. Do our light test, left click and hold, we'll sweep the cockpit, make sure all our lights work. Everything looks good. Glance at the FCS, make sure we have no two or right faults, indicating an issue with the right engine, which we don't. So we can left click, rack and stack our cautions. Crank over the left engine with the left click. Again, when we see 18%, push the throttle forward and idle. Wait for it to light up.
I'm going to stable our HSI. We'll change the map. Left click on the stick to get rid of it. Cycle mode twice. Get rid of the map. We'll just verify our waypoint zero. We'll look at these coordinates and we'll verify it in the F10 map. We click on ourselves, look at these coordinates down here. Should be fairly accurate. For us, they are. Take HSI again. We'll come down and we'll look at our radar. Put it in operational with the right click. INS and CV, the right click. We'll see that we have a quality. I'll click standard bearing just to go ahead and speed it up. And then come over to our FCS, hit reset, put our flaps to half, switch to the FCS, and we're going to do our IBID test. If we hold the Y key on our keyboard, you can see that we pressed up on this. Holding that, clicking FCS, now releasing Y, you can see that we're performing our IBID test. We'll go ahead and wait for that to finish. All good to go back to bit. We'll check our hook bypass is in carrier and our anti-skid is off. We'll hit our takeoff trim button. Now disengage our nose wheel steering. Put our flaps to auto. Check our flight control. Everything looks to be working okay. Come down back to half. Now we'll set our trim. For this video, my weight is 4,700 pounds. If we look at our kneeboard all the way down, kind of at the bottom left, you can see that my trim would be 17, or 47,000 pounds, sorry. My trim is 17. So I'll set my trim accordingly. Now we'll go ahead and we'll check our fuel probe, speed brake, cycle our pedo tube on and off, or auto, drop our hook. And if we do a quick walk around, we can see that everything is good to go. Go ahead and bring our speed brake back in. Probe and our hook. Set our bingo fuel. Click and hold. Set 5000. Set our standby altimeter. Uncage, sorry. Set our altimeter to radar. Go ahead and turn on our data link and our IFF. We can set our IF, ILS, and TAC ins. My TAC in here is 74. Go ahead and put that in. ILS is 11. Looking down here, we can see that actually our quality is okay. Make sure you turn TACAN on with a the hold. There. So that was our radar altimeter bug that we just set to 40. Altimeters down here, 2.9 or 9 or 2, which is good. 
canopy is down so we can know, go ahead if we have an HMD. Go ahead and align that. First, in our bit page, we'll go to displays, HMD, and make sure that everything is tested properly. Once all this cycles through, stop. See that we're now ready to align. We'll go to our menu, HMD, align. We're going to go line these up. And when we line them up, we're going to hit our cage, uncage, uh, push and hold our cage, uncage button for about two and a half seconds. Aligning, align OK, we release. Now we get an FADXDY roll, which is utilizing our TDI movement. And we want to set the top one aligned with the top cross. That looks good. Hit our cage on cage again to get the FA roll, which is the bottom one, which is just left and right. We'll align that line. Now we can come down here and save the alignment. And there we go back to our INS. Turn it to IFA. Should have done this before, but make sure our O box is on. Because I closed the canopy earlier, I should have made sure that was on. For now, I'm going to go ahead and turn the HMD back off. Remove our wheel chocks. Release our parking brake. I'm going to go ahead and put the stick of the pilot back in. Re engage nose wheel steering. Get that mine and high. We're going to go ahead and taxi catapult to. Make sure our ejection seat is armed. Gently giving us some throttle, we'll perform a brake check. Brakes are good. Well, let's go ahead and catapult. So nice and slow. telling us to open up our wings. Kind of tight, so we'll steer it. Catapult, telling us to keep coming forward. I'm a little bit off. Keep forward. It tells us to stop, stop, roll back. Open up our wings. Two right clicks, scroll in to lock. It's locked. Missed that direction, but he told us to extend our launch bar. We'll go ahead and we'll do that. Now he's given us a single to approach the cat. We gotta give it some power. We gotta get up and over. It's actually pretty good. Usually I stall out there a little bit. Pull back. It's telling us to retract our launch bar. Right click. And now we're ready. 
do our full sweep. Or our throttle check. Head to give it throttle. Full sweep of the controls. Our pilot salute. We are ready to go. I just remembered I forgot to do was set my BRC. But other than that, it's pretty good. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. And I hope you enjoyed this video.